creative friends it's Eugenia from Art Mail Time is Atelier and today as I promised we will make an artwork with my new uh, supplies um, I haven't made a pencil work for a while so um, yeah I'm, I'm really happy to uh, to give it a go um, I'm going to use the Expressive blending card pad uh, I have already taken a page and have uh, uh, put it on my, I've stuck it on my board. Um, we're going to be using uh, the pencils. It is actually very good for pencils. I tried a little bit already. So I'm, um, I'm going to see how I, I'm going to go with that. And uh, we're going to be using also the uh, Brazil Expression Series uh, 36 uh, set uh, that I have just uh, received from uh, Expressit and uh, Royal Talents. So um, the supplies I'm using today have been offered to me. Uh, I haven't paid for them. Um, it's today's not going to be a review. I'm going to just use um, these supplies and see how uh how i go and how they feel uh, so this is gonna be like a preparation for a review <laughs> so i have made my uh, sketch from a photo that i took the other day myself um uh, we went for a bike ride and the only uh, there was heaps of photos that i wanted to take um uh, to bring in the studio and uh, and paint but I couldn't stop everybody was moving so there was no way I could stop every you know five minutes to take a photo um, so I'm gonna have to do this route again maybe by myself and stop and take proper photos um, <laughs> the only photo I managed to do is when we were stopped for a drink uh, at a cafe and yeah I will touch it somewhere in one of those corners um i've made my drawer so you can see if you if you want to do uh, the painting you can have uh, the reference there and also i will attach this little drawing um it's not any uh, very difficult but uh in case you you want to print it or you want as a reference for your own drawing feel free to go ahead what else I did, I, I took my uh, white pencil and I have done all the highlights as I see them on the photo. Or the most of them, if not all of them. Um, so I hope that uh, because I have already put a uh, white um, pencil down, that once uh, it comes, uh, I'll, I'll put the other color, it will not cover as much. Um, so we'll see if this theory uh, works out. Um, I did read that these uh, pencils are actually um, they, they are wax pencil pencils. So that means that um, yeah, the the covering pretty good, but uh, the the feel. They don't feel very uh, soft, which is great, especially for, um, I don't want them to be very soft. Um, if I want small, a soft pencil, then I wouldn't be using pencils, I would be using um, a different medium. Um, so this is going to be a long process. Um, they so am I going to? Um, fast forward a little bit otherwise it will be very boring for you <laughs> uh, anything else that I want to mention before uh, I put the music on um, I 
I'm not sure what the, the, uh, what other supplies we're going to be using. Uh, if I need to use any uh, blending um, uh, for blending, we'll see how we go. You will definitely going to need the reference if you decide to, to do this painting. So I might actually uh, attach the drawing and the and the reference photo as a downloadable file. I love when I, I can uh, attach the photos. They are mine and I can attach them. We really I'm really happy with that when I can do it. Because you can actually um go ahead and uh, and paint. That project. It doesn't matter if you don't have the same colours. And it doesn't matter if you do complete different colors. You don't need to have the same set to create. Um... Well, who knows? I'm, I'm either going to have uh, to to use uh, some other pencils too. I'm not sure because. Uh... In case I didn't get enough uh, darks. Uh, from uh, From the first impression, it looks like that they are uh, that they are layering pretty good, and that they're blending pretty pretty good too. Think normally I don't use black, but uh, I'm gonna have to use a little black to get the contrast that I want to and the darkness. Look, um, a limited set of uh, pencils. It's got a lot of. Um, positive uh, and one of the biggest positives is that um, you're not getting confused with 150 colors for example or 120 uh, which one to use which one is the closest because it doesn't really matter it's it's more it the most that it matters is to achieve the shape and the the play of the light. So this grape, this green bottle might not end up being very green <laughs> after all because I'm using black but um, it doesn't really matter now I have to remember which, color, uh, which pencil I have used 
Uh, so I better leave them out here. So there's the. I even use that this blue. Okay. I think that it has um, helped a bit. I think I don't mix them up. Uh, that actually put the white before. I'll put the white back. Okay, I think I'm going to um, put some music because it will take long. <laughs>
so this is the point that uh, um, it is almost completed. Um, what I am doing now, I'm just using a colorless uh, blender. It's a Derwent. Um, so uh, that um, will uh, soften the strikey uh, areas. Because as you, you do know me that I'm impatient and I cannot go too slow at the background. If I didn't want to uh, use only the um, Brazil uh, products today, I would be using um, pan pastels for the background. Totally, uh, I, can't, <laughs> I can't spend you know many hours on on the piece and especially if it's just the background which is the secondary part i'm getting very bored um but that's just me um lots of you uh, enjoying uh, spending time on the uh, background the pencils um, well I'm saying that it's because of the age because I remember when I was young oh, I could just spend endless hours on one piece and it didn't matter till it was becoming almost perfect <laughs> according to my knowledge then obviously uh, now it's a little bit um, I'm a bit more impatient um, Oh, probably I should be using the odorless spirits, maybe. But um, I'm not sure how it's going to take it the paper. I haven't tested it, so I'm not going to do experiment right now because I have spent quite a few hours on this piece. I don't really like it. Um, so yeah, I don't want to ruin it because the paper doesn't take um, liquids. I'm not sure. I, I, I have to test it. So I'm going in. I'm playing safe. Colorless blender. It's uh, the way to go. Uh, it has smoothened uh, all my... Uh, not all of them, but at least the majority of the strikey bits. It, they're not so obvious. And the, uh, and the areas that I have uh, blended. Yeah, it totally helps. If you're working with uh, co color pe pencils, um, colorless blender it's uh, a must tool to have in your set uh, as you notice I create a nice uh, texture on my bottle with um, the electric sharp uh, sorry electric eraser that's an, another Derwent uh, product that I'm using uh, it's very handy. I didn't expect that it's going to lift this pencil so easily. Now I'm not sure if it's the pencil that they're working perfectly with the eraser and uh, they're creating really nice highlights when needed at the end. Um, and also to, to create this nice um, texture here on the, on the table. Um, Yeah, that was uh, because of the eraser and also the bottle here and all the highlights lights I didn't have to uh, preserve them or put um, white uh, ink or um, liquid pencil white liquid pencil or uh, any of those things products uh, 
I just had to go and remove my color with the electric eraser. Very easy, and uh, I achieved um, the results that I wanted. Uh, also, if I have done a mistake, the eraser will um, uh, erase it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that this is another really good tool to have if you're uh, working with uh, color pencils, pencils, and any of those uh, dry mediums, even uh, pastels, I suppose. Um, they're pretty affordable. I think I got it for seven or eight Australian dollars. Very affordable. Uh, same with the uh, colored, uh, colorless blender. That they're not uh, expensive at all. Um, so yeah, it is a really good uh, addition of your tools. And yeah, I think I will leave it this way now. I'm kind of happy the way it has um, turned up. I'm pretty happy with the pencils. Um, I might try to do the same subject with another medium. Uh, I would like to try it with the um, colored pencils. Uh, sorry, colored pencils. Uh, see, it's late at night, and I'm I'm saying you know I'm not talking straight <laughs> uh, with my watercolors. I meant to say, um, yeah, definitely. I want to try them with my watercolors, and let's put my initials here. Can I? go over this waxy surface yes excellent in october right hi how about if i put a, a, a few lines here and i say yeah okay this is for inktober too put some ink <laughs> now i'm only joking this has no ink uh, this piece doesn't have any inks, nothing to do with inks. Um, what do you think? I'm gonna turn it into mixed media after all. Yeah, I can if I don't stop. Put away all my all down and let's unmask it. This is the fun part. Da, 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 da. Very good. This paper is uh, unmasking pretty good. Now the other thing that I have done and I'm probably uh, I went to the edge on this side. I'm gonna just soften a little bit because, as you can see here, I've got it also almost white. Not almost; it is white. So uh, I should just soften a little bit. Definitely, this is. Great. Now, I'm not sure if it is the pencils, as I said, or the paper that um, erases this uh, color pencils, but whatever it is, it suits me perfectly. I'm very happy with that. And um, so I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, painting with my new um, supplies if you enjoy it please don't forget to like it thumbs up <laughs> and um, if you haven't subscribed consider to do so I'll be doing my best to 
add as much artwork for possible and keep you informed with uh, any product that I'm going coming across. Um, how it's performing, so you can choose uh, if it is uh, suitable for you or not. And uh, yeah, consider also to click the notification bell that helps you choose which um, uh, video to watch and which one not. Uh, because uh, not only notifies you every time I am uploading a video, but also is telling you what kind of video it is. So you can choose if you want to watch it or not. Uh, so we'll hope that we'll see you soon at my next video. Uh, till then, be happy, be creative and keep painting. Thank you very much for watching me. Bye for now.